Okay, hello dear friends, such a beautiful, beautiful day. And we will keep on doing our mathematics. It's kind of addicting when you get into it. And uh, we do 73 and follow on. So I will copy this problem tangent cosine inverse of uh, 4 over 5. So 73 tangent cosine. Ooh, that is a capital C. So it's on the capital hill. It's one of those one of a kind. When people go to Capitol Hill, it's one of a kind. So there is a, there is a domain, there is a particular domain and a particular range for it. So this is a unique value. There is no, not a repeating value. Yesterday we talked about it because this is capital. When this is a lowercase letter, so it's a circular function's result, and uh, and the number can can vary. But once it is uh, a capital, it is one particular, uh, one particular value. So first we see cosine inverse of four over five. We know the cosine domain for this inverse function, domain is 0 to pi, right? Uh, uh -oh. 0 to pi, this is its domain. And if it is a positive value, so this is in half pi, before half pi. And it's, uh, we can draw it in a quadrant. In the quadrant, this one is in the first quadrant, and we have such an angle, and the cosine for this is the angle theta. The cosine is adjacent in comparison with hypotenuse, right? So once we draw this one, we already know this cosine gu si xuan wu three four five. This is the most 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 important number in uh, trigonometry. And uh, for many thousand years ago, Chinese already got it cosine gu si xuan wu. So when one um, line, one side is three, another side is four, and um, and uh, the hypotenuse is hypotenuse, not hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. What is hypotenuse? I. It's not my language anyway. Hypotenuse is a five. So this is a Pythagorean, uh, Pythagorean um, uh, theory also. So we know this one is three. This one is not given, but we figured it out. We figured it out from Pythagorean theory. So first, if we if we dismantle this problem, cosine negative four over five, we need to find an angle that so that cosine theta here, this is a theta, and the theta the cosine is 4 over 5. It is 4 over 5. And through this value, we can figure out um, the opposite side of the angle theta. Now, we need to figure out tangent of theta. Tangent of theta is opposite side over adjacent side. So it's a three over four. When you see this, it becomes much clearer and easy, right? Okay. Now, 75 sine 
tangent. Ooh, take a look here. This is a capital. Something in the capital is one of a kind, right? Someone in the capital who can go to capital is one of a kind. There's no exception in mathematics. So what we are seeing here, this is an angle. This is angle theta. Once upon a time, there was an angle. And, and in tangent, if this is a positive, so it must be in first quadrant. So we can draw this angle in the first quadrant. And we know here is the theta and the opposite over adjacent. So we can figure out this one, right? 5 square plus 12 square equal 1, uh, equal 25 plus uh, 144 equal 169, right? And 169 is the square root of 169. So it's 13th square. So this one is 13. This is another trigonometric st specific or special angle. 5, 12, 13. Remember it. Before you die, remember it. Anybody ask you, one side is 5, another side is 12, and the rest side, how many it is? There's no choice. It must be 13, the miserable number 13. Okay, remember it. So we know the angle theta. Theta is like this. So tangent theta, we, we better do exactly the same. Tangent theta equal to 5 over 12. So we know this one and uh, we know the, 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 the theta. The theta, we cannot write it on, on, on how many degree. You can write it definitely uh, uh, through decimal or through your graphic calculator. But instead of uh, writing a degree number, I will use this value to continue to do the calculation. So sine theta equal to sine is opposite angle over hypotenuse. So it's a 5 over 13. Is that clear? Because this one is in the first uh, quadrant. This one is capital. So it's defined within a certain range. It's a valid range. So <clears throat> We know there is only one value for the for the for the for the theta, the angle theta, and then we continue to do it. Make sense? Okay. Now we will do question seventy seven. Question seventy seven. This might be a little bit co uh, complicated because there is a, there is a negative value here. Okay, did you see it clearly? I will copy the problem. So seventy seven is a cosine arc sine negative eight over 17, right? Negative 8 over 17. Okay, for this we need to take a look at our sign. So where is the domain? This is the domain. This is zero, negative half pi to positive half pi, pi over two. So this is the domain because it is continuous and have all the y value. 
and here here because it's a, it's a, 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 a circulate um, function so it's always con continuous repeating this number so we choose one area one domain that that only reflect only in here instead of writing all these numbers. Okay, so arc sine, we know it's a negative angle, right? And it's in the fourth quadrant because it's a... So what we can do, we can draw it like this. Here we have an angle theta and sine is... the y value or the opposite of theta over the hypotenuse and oh it's not negative because this y value is negative so the theta value is negative 8 over 17 now, forget about anything. We need to figure out this one, right? 17 squared minus 64 or 8 squared equal to 289 minus uh, 64 equal to 225 equal 15 squared. So this one is 15. Positive, negative. Here is positive, here is negative. And this one is a, is a scalar value. It never has positive or negative hypotenuse. So this one is positive. So now we need to figure out, we know this angle is such. So cosine of this angle is, we do not need to know the degree of it although we can figure out the degree through graphic calculator. But what we need to know is the cosine of, of, the, uh, of the side relationship. Cosine is adjacent, adjacent, which is 15, and it's positive 15 over 17. And that is the value we figure out. And this is the correct value value. I know it. If you do not believe me, let's check the answer. This one is 77. See, 15 over 17. We are right. Okay. We are always right. We are just right, right, right. Okay. Hello, dear friends. Let's continue to do it. And this one is question... Uh, 79, take a look, second, arc cosine 2 over 3. Okay, 79, let me copy this problem, second, arc cosine, 2 over 3. Okay, one thing we know, secant and the cosine is reciprocal. So this one, the result is a 3 over 2. I say it's a 3 over 2. I already know. Because last night I did it. And I spent time. And now I understand the pattern. Now we will explain why it is so. So once upon a time, there is an angle. There is an angle. Its cosine is 2 over 3. And this one is arc sine. So which means arc cosine. Arc. So And it's a capital. So it means it's within the domain. And the cosine domain, let's take a look. The cosine domain is like this, from 0 to pi. And here is half pi, right? And it's a positive value, so it must be in the first quadrant. 
So we can draw it like here. And this angle is in the first quadrant and cosine is 2 over 3. Once upon a time, this is the angle theta. And the adjacent is 2 because it's cosine, right? Cosine. And the hypotenuse, hypotenuse, hypotenuse. Hypothesis, hypothesis, <laughs> hypotenuse is 3. So which one is this one? And we need to do a calculation. Square, uh, uh, square of 2 minus square, a uh, square of 3 minus square of 2 equal square of that number. So it equals 2. 9 minus 4 equal to 5. So this angle is root 5. Now we figure out this one is root 5. And we need to figure out the secant. Do we even need this root 5? We actually do not need this root 5 because secant is the reciprocal of cosine right so it's hypotenuse over the um, adjacent so secant theta equal to 3 over 2 just like this they are making a long 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 tour and just coming back to show us how unsmart we are well, sometimes you just can't beat your teacher. I mean, um, I mean, strategically, your teacher is always smarter than you and always make your life miserable. Do I say something wrong? <gasps> no, your teacher is always with the warmest heart trying to help you to make your life so... <laughs> Enjoyable. <laughs> okay, question 81. I dare to say it because I am a teacher. If I am not a teacher, I will never dare to say these kind of things. Cotangent 81. No, you deserve to see the truth. 81. Cotangent sign inverse of negative root 2 over 2 cotangent 81 sine this is a capital one of a kind within a domain inverse of negative root 2 over 2 so whenever we see root 2 over 2, we know it's a, a 45 degree or 135 degree or 225 degree or um, 315 degree. It's always, the, 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 forget about the negative sign, we know what it is, right? So the sign domain, domain of sign is negative negative half pi to positive half pi. And it's negative value. This value is negative. So it's in the fourth quadrant. It's in the fourth. This is not a quadrant. Okay, make sure this is a pi. And it's in the fourth quadrant. And the sign is... This one is 2. And here is root 2. And this one is root... No, fourth quadrant. I, I was copying this one. Yes. This kind of mistake happens all the time. So it's in the fourth quadrant. Okay? 
and theta. Here is two, hypotenuse two, and opposite angle is, opposite side is two in absolute value, but it is negative. Okay. And this one, positive, negative. This one is positive, root 2. We already know, root 2, root 2, and square is a 4. <clears throat> and this one is square, uh, uh, root 4. Okay, so we need to know the cotangent. Cotangent is... Cotangent is adjacent over opposite, right? Adjacent over opposite. So cotangent equal to cotangent theta equal to adjacent root 2 over negative root 2 is negative 1. Okay, so that is it. If you want, I am not very, 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 very super duper sure. If you want, are we right? Are we right? <laughs> Aren't we right? We have to be right. Okay, 83. Eighty-three uh, is cosecant. Eighty-three, eighty-three cosecant are cotangent three. Okay, is arc cotangent three. Okay, so this one is capital. It must be in the first quadrant. We can write it directly like this. And we know one uh, angle here. This is the angle theta. And the cotangent. Oh, oh, I'm drawing a little bit not so not so well thought i will do it again and the cotangent is here is the theta cotangent what does it mean it's adjacent over opposite so cotangent is 3 means here the Adjacent is 3 and opposite is 1. So what is the value of this one? Because we are trying to figure out cosecant. Cosecant is, um, we need to, to figure out over um, the, the, the hypotenuse, right? It has something to do with hypotenuse. So it's uh, 9 and this is 1. This is root 10. Okay, now we figure out the cosecant. You can write directly. Cosecant is, is hypotenuse over opposite. Or you can do opposite over hypotenuse is sine. And cosecant is the reciprocal of it. Whichever way you, you feel comfortable. Okay, so is root 10 cosecant theta equal to root 10 over 1 equal to root 10. 83 is root 10. Oh, oh, I need to take a look to proof. Yes, we are right again. How come we are always right? I feel, I feel a little bit uh, not right. It's, 
it's not good to be always right. Anyway, I wish you a happy, happy, happy afternoon and a happy, happy every day. It, um, when you dismantle everything and sink it through, oh, this one I have to do. Um, question number eight, 78. We missed something, but this one is very interesting. Question number 78. Let's take a look. 78, 78. Did you see? Cosine, cosine, sine, capital, negative, uh, uh, not, not negative one, inverse of two. Okay, don't, you are tricking me. There is no sign. It means sine of theta. Sine of theta is 2. This does not exist. Even if you live in the capital, you are one of a kind. You are ridiculous. You are ridiculous. This one is ridiculous. It does not exist. So even if it exists, it need to be go. It will be gone. Anyway. Mm, nothing about uh, those those uh, things. So it's undefined, undefined within my knowledge, within the normal mindset. This one is undefined. So question eighty seven is undefined. Let's see undefined. Yeah. Thank you very much. Love you, I really do 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 Yeah, this paper needs some contrast. When I put my black hand, dirty hand, or or dark colored sun tanned hand, you can see these characters much clearer. If I move my hand away, this paper is just looks very dark. That's good. Or maybe just a pen, something that is dark. For some reason, this this um, camera or this iPhone can recognize something is lively and something is not so lively. So the black pen does not make that much an improvement. It can recognize this is a hand need to be the focal point. I will not waste your time. You have a wonderful, 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 wonderful afternoon. I love you. I really do, 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 do.